Hi guys and welcome back to another food recipe video. If you're new, welcome. My name is Crystal and in today's video I'm going to be sharing how our family makes coctel de camarón or an English shrimp cocktail. This is a Mexican shrimp cocktail called coctel de camarón. It's very different to shrimp cocktail and each family does make theirs a little bit different. Of course all ingredients will be down in the description and the recipe as well. So go ahead and check that out if that is something you're interested. If you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and for more videos like this feel free to hit that subscribe button i do have a playlist of more of these food recipe videos so i will leave that pin in the comments so let's get started and let's make some coctel de camarón so starting here we have a pot of water and my mother-in-law is adding salt and she's going to let that come to a boil. She does have about four pounds of shrimp and once the water comes to a boil she is going to add the shrimp and let it cook for about five minutes. The side we do have about one large onion and we're dicing that up and then we have about six cucumbers peeling those and chopping up but the first thing that my family starts doing is chopping the whole onion and then we start adding lemon uh, juice you can definitely add more or less we did add about 14 each time we make it it just depends the amount of shrimp that we're using but pretty much they add the lemon juice to the onion so it can start um like marinating getting a little bit of flavor this is the first step that they always do and then um you'll see right here the aguacates that we had we had some of them going a little bit bad that's why we wanted to make them so after five minutes she takes out the whole um all of the shrimp out and you can tell that we did leave them um with the peel on we are going to peel them but you're going to want to save this broth that is left over that has tons of flavor and that's going to help thin it out here my husband is putting it in the freezer because we want that to cool down while we continue to chop up and add more of the ingredients. You'll see throughout the video that my mother-in-law is adding salt. We are going to be adding 32 ounces of V8. This is just to give it some flavor. If you cannot find V8 juice, I would just recommend um, seeing if there's something similar that you can find. And then we're going to be adding this tomato cocktail called Clamato. I normally find ours at Costco and as my mother-in-law is adding the V8 and the cocktail, we're adding the rest of the chopped cucumbers and then we will start peeling um, the shrimp and then start adding the shrimp to the cocktail. Towards the end, you guys will see that my in-laws or my husband will add the aguacate and we add the cilantro. Normally, we chop up the aguacate smaller, but this time we ended up leaving it in bigger chunks and that's because once it's in there for a while, um, the avocado gets a little bit um, smashed up so this time we decided to chop it up in big chunks this is totally totally gonna be up to you if you want to cut it smaller or bigger it's really up to you for preference all my in-laws recipes because this is my in-laws recipe this is not mine I can't take credit for it um, they are really really simple and they're really flexible and that's what I really enjoy about them besides tons of flavor and they're so good um, you can always switch things up so feel free to add more or less of any of these ingredients or go ahead and take out an item if you don't like it or don't eat it. Uh, some of my family members don't even eat the shrimp they just eat most of the veggies but the ones that do like the shrimp it's pretty good. Um, here my father-in-law is adding the rest of the cucumber which gives it tons and tons of flavor with that lemon juice and the V8 and then we're starting to peel the, the camarones or the shrimps. <clears throat> And then we will add that in. Towards the end, you're going to see that we're going to be adding the broth. My mother-in-law doesn't really measure it, but we're just guessing it's about two cups. We just wanted enough to thin it out because you guys will see that it will start getting really, really thick. And that shrimp broth has tons of flavor. You're not going to use all of it, but please don't throw that away. That has tons of flavor. Anytime you cook chicken or any kind of meat <clears throat> and it has its own broth, Go ahead and use that for rice. Don't throw that away. I've seen so many people throw it away and it's so useful. You can use it for things. You can freeze it and, you know, it just gives your food so much flavor. So my mother-in-law always adds the broth here. And like I said, so many different family members make their cocktail de camarón, their shrimp cocktail, very different. Some people add tomato. Some people don't. It just differs from family to family. And this is just my family's recipe. So from here, pretty much it's ready. You can put it in the fridge and let it set but ours was already pretty cold taste as you go add or take away the salt whatever you prefer well you can't take it away but you can add less or more um but definitely definitely really good here it is ready we didn't need to put ours in the fridge but sometimes we even add ice to it 
um, just to cool it down. But since the broth was already pretty cold when they added it in, it was perfect. You do want to eat this cold. And um, this is what it looks like. Let me show you how my husband has it in a cup. We normally eat it in a cup, and but you can serve it however you want. Some people do like to add ketchup to theirs. My husband doesn't. You're going to see my husband has is going to add tapatio, and then he adds a lot of different hot sauces. They're mainly habanero hot sauces. You don't have to add any hot sauce. You can just stick to one. But anytime we eat mariscos or seafood um, or fish tacos, we love adding different hot sauces. And you can see on the table there's a bunch of them. And some of our family members will add ketchup to the cocktail. Some people even add ketchup to the cocktail, but not all of us like that. So we just leave the ketchup on the side. And then I'll show you guys what we serve it with. You can have this with tostadas. Um, or you can have them with crackers either or I'm, I like more of tostadas uh, but some people like both so it's totally going to be up to you so this is the cocktail de camarón that my family recipe shared with you guys these are the tostadas and the crackers that we really like to enjoy with them these specific brands go really well um, so thank you guys so much for watching this is a great recipe to enjoy on a hot day and enjoy around being family this is my family right here and as always thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next one